Sunday, guys. This is Ask the Cross. All right. We've got another scout rifle comparison, one that I've kind of just been putting on the back burner, man. Some, somebody actually requested this whenever I put out my other scout rifle comparison. But the thing about it is, these two weapons, they're very different than one another. You've got one that's a very fast rate of fire, uh, lower impact weapon. And of course, you got the other, the Jade Rabbit, being just the hammer out there in a crucible. Uh, which is why I didn't really jump up and start comparing these two. They're kind of different hierarchy. But, as requested, I will fulfill the order, guys. So let's go ahead and just look at the stats. If you don't know what modern multi-tools got in it, like I said I, before in my past videos, I like to keep mine a smart drift control, third eye. I want to keep it on lightweight because I love to move around. I like to have a shotty combo with modern multi-tool as well to get up close. And then the modern multi-tool perk right there. This weapon boosts move, speed, and fires on a hair trigger. That hair trigger is extremely nice. You can spam that R2 button. Modern multi-tool is deadly. One of my favorite weapons. Uh, Jade Rabbit. This weapon right here, man, uh, is the ultimate sniper beatdown weapon. I've never seen a scout that can just knock a damn sniper out. You go ahead and start landing those shots. Oh my god, it eats them up unless they find some sort of way to get cover, but they don't have a lot of time. But the fate of all fools is what you want to look at right here. Chain body shots to gain bonus damage on your next precision shot and return ammo to the mag. So so a lot of the people say, and from what I've seen from my own experiences, you definitely want to hammer out those body shots first, or at least one of them to chain that headshot. And then this right here, I'd like to keep mine a smart drift control. As you can see, you get a little bit in range with these other stats, but you've already got such a vast amount of range, I'm not that worried about it. Uh, spray and play uh, increases the reload speed of this weapon when this mag is empty. Oh, extremely nice. I went ahead and given my extended uh, mag size. Mag size is not that big on it. Uh, seven bullet clip without, and you can even find yourself, even with the extended mag size, that it does run out. And then Zen moment causing damage with the weapon increases stability. Zen moment is one of those abilities that, you know, I like it. I've seen it on scouts before. Um, it's it's a pretty good ability. Uh, I would probably prefer something to just go ahead and just give me uh, good stability right off the bat versus me having to cause damage to increase st stability. But Zen is not necessarily a bad per death. This is such a slow rate of fire weapon. It's not like it's going anywhere. And it feels extremely heavy, which might be good or bad to you. So let's go ahead and jump to the stats, guys, and can start looking at the nitty gritty. So Mighty Multi Tool has a lot of things in store. Not only is it a scout rifle, it can take on enemies long range, but it also has the ability to really compete with Last Word and Doctrine and other weapons in the close range uh, conflicts. Look at this right here. I have the ability to keep backing up from enemies uh, and keep them on, on the retreat and constantly just keep pecking them off. The accuracy right here is so key as well. Uh, you've got 90 aim assist, which is just unreal to have on this scout rifle but as you notice you've got guys that try to charge you down look at him trying to come in for a shoulder charge but the ability to be able to move quicker while aiming helps so much combine that with radiant dance machines and you can damn near run backwards faster than you can run forward not literally but you know just saying it's pretty damn close and it's very deadly to have my multi-tool has always been a key weapon for me Oh, let's talk in Jade Rabbit, man. Beautiful gun, I got to say, and it's got a hell of an impact. But that rate of fire is slow as dog shit, man. 27. Uh, it makes up for it with that aim assist, guys. And I really like the recoil direction. It makes it just stay completely vertical at all times, which is extremely nice. Most of the time, scout rifles got that anyways, so you don't have too much trouble there. What really catches enemies off guard, though, is the impact that you got with this sucker, man. They line up just right for you. It's almost like you're wielding this just this ongoing sniper, dude. Mini sniper, I guess. And again, in short-range confrontations, it does pretty decent. Um, I, I must say the aim assist really comes into play there. Took it up in a rumble and did pretty damn good for me. I actually like to rip it with the sniper, which seems like an odd comparison or an odd combination, but it worked.
So you've seen the stats, guys. You've seen some of the gameplay. Um, the question still remains, is which one of these is actually the better weapon? You know, I do a lot of weapon comparisons. Most of the time, I like to do weapon comparisons with weapons that are very similar. And both of these are definitely hitting both ends of the spectrum. Um, guys, I got to say, man, I love modern multi-tool. Modern multi-tool has just always just been a great medium for me. Um, in a situation where whether or not I'm running into a last word or whether or not I'm running into a, a sniper or, or all over the spectrum, I feel like modern multi-tool has the ability to be able to adapt. It is a multi-tool. It is a multi-tool weapon. And that is what it's made for. The jade, though. I can't rule that weapon out. Because in situations where I do run into a sniper, man, that just domes me right off the bat. And it is going to be in long uh, uh, or far off matches and long distant matches situations. I feel like the J does an excellent job at fucking those snipers up. A lot of times they be hard scoping. And if you go ahead and land those two, three body shots, they're even coming out of the hard scope. You land that, that hit shot, they're gone. They're done for. And the ability to be able to do that so easily and quickly with Jade makes it such a deadly weapon to use against snipers. But this is the cons about Jade. It is unforgiving in a lot of situations. As in, if you do run into a situation where a guy's running at you with a shot, or you do run into a situation um, where there's going to be a lot of close uh, uh, battles, man, and you really have to honestly have a shotgun ready. Uh, I was using a sniper with it, which was not the smartest of combinations, but uh, I was just kind of fucking around and dicking around and seeing how it works. But I will say, though, Jade is unforgiving, as in if you do miss a shot, you uh, cannot quickly recover from it. Whereas modern multi-tool, you can, and you can quickly backtrack, and you can uh, uh, throw up and, and, and still beat, beat and win out those gunfights uh, with the multi-tool. And so that's what you really got to consider, guys. Jade Rabbit is a weapon that you just in love with. And then, don't get me wrong, I love this weapon. But if you really love it, uh, I want to say that you really need to spend a lot of time with it. Really get the recoil pattern down. Get everything down with the weapon. Uh, put yourself in uncomfortable situations, especially short-range conflicts. You want to always prepare for the for the worst, man. And that is the worst thing for Jade Rabbit. Um, and so put yourself in that situation. But if you can get that down, if you can get that down and get the J down and, and truly uh, learn the weapon, it can be probably one of the deadliest weapons in the right hands. In the game, man. I'm telling you, it can be one of the deadliest weapons. But Jade Rabbit is not a tool or not a weapon. Not a tool. Still got multi-tool on my head. But Jade is not a weapon that I feel like any novice can come in and just pick up and run with it. I think it's definitely a weapon for experienced players, um, for players that really want to take the time and learn it. Whereas multi-tool seems like a weapon that, that I feel like anybody can really pick up and run with it. Um, so that's kind of my, my thing about it is, guys. I love both of these weapons, don't get me wrong. And I'm glad I did this weapon comparison, even though these two are, are such different weapons. But the same token, um, I've got to acknowledge the fact that the multi-tool is such a versatile weapon. And one that which anyone can pick up and go with it. So that's kind of why I've, I've made this decision and, and kind of why I chose multi tool in that aspect. But there's one reason why I cannot roll out Jade at the same token because it is such a powerful weapon. And like I said, in the right hands, in the person that actually truly experiences the weapon and trains with it and practices with it, can become one of the deadliest players in Destiny. All right, guys. Well, that is your weapon comparison. Um, love to hear your comments. If you've got any more requests, man, throw it in the comments below. I actually like to get requests more than anything. Those are my favorite things to do. Um, you know, don't do not do nothing crazy, like, you know, me comparing a shotgun to a sniper. But, I mean, you know, anything that's, uh, that's relatable, I would definitely love to crack it out for you guys. Fellas, thank you so much for coming and watching. Sascross, I'll catch all of you later.